It's eight. In one month, I'll be leaving. One month left to prepare this crazy adventure. I'm gonna start vlogging, or at least try, to give you a more behind the scene of the preparation. There's a lot of, of going on and uh, I need a coffee. So every day is the same. I'm waking up, checking all the stuff I need to do, or the stuff that I didn't do yesterday, planning my day, making sure that uh, I'm moving forward on the stuff I need to move forward to. Then I go to work. No, I, I don't work here, but I work near here. Did you know that Super 73 has a Super 73 Z version with Paris Saint-Germain? But now I need to go to work and then I go back home through the woods, a nice ride on the Super 73 back home. And I'm back home. I'm leaving in a month. So yeah, and there's a lot of things to do. Like, I didn't expect so much to do. It's fun, it's really fun to do. It's it's a lot of stress because really, there is so many brands involved in this. And well, and mainly I have to explain what is this trip about, what is it, what I'm doing. Is it worth it for them? Because I wanna, you know, I'm not a huge YouTuber, come on. I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not an influencer. I'm not, I'm nothing. So I have to give values to those guys who are trusting me in bringing lights to their products. So here is a time lapse of me answering mail. <laughs> Now that I've answered everyone, getting back to work on the computer, editing the community video, which is the third video I'm doing, where I'm gonna talk about how you guys can get involved in this. So you're excited about the video and excited about the content of this video and you're hyped and you wanna follow the stuff and here we go, it's okay. Okay, that's all, see you next time. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog or whatever this format is. I received yesterday those box. You know what's the worst part of being a YouTuber? Is that you have to wait setting up everything before opening a box. Revit has been kind enough to be partnering this crazy adventure and they've sent me clothes for me to stay warm and dry. They've seen my previous adventure and they know that I've been soaked wet and they don't want me to have the same experience. So this time they are sending me stuff so that I won't get wet. Let's open this box. Ta -da! Oh my god, oh my god, so many stuff, so many stuff. Okay, it's crazy. Since 1995, They've been doing clothes for motorbike, for adventure, off-road, dirt. They are pretty good in racing clothes. We're not used to wear this. We want to wear our jeans. We want to wear our stuff like normal on our bike. But actually, we do need a little bit more protection. Our bike is heavy. Uh, our bike can go fast. So, you know, getting protection is great. We won't have something that is very easy to wear. And Revit is trying to create this kind of clothes for fat e-bike making clothes for our niche that's so good and i'm so proud to be one of their testers and try to give feedback to them on how do i feel wearing their clothes after 2000 kilometers so they've sent me stuff that i'm pretty excited about first oh that's huge oh that's huge oh oh oh, oh. i oh it's the pants Wow! No, I'm not I'm not gonna get cold with that. I'm not I'm not gonna get wet with that. Oh you can feel the protection here. I'm pretty excited to test them. Second thing. A hat. And I'm gonna wear it right now. Because my hair is crazy. I need to go to a hairdresser before <laughs> this crazy adventure. Hey! Huge stuff again. Man, I'm not gonna get cold. Let's try this one. All right, all right, all right. Wow, dude, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna get cold. I'm not gonna get cold. I actually hope it's gonna get cold out there, because 
This is going to be warm, like really warm. Whoa, there is pockets everywhere. Here, no, 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 that's not a bucket. Oh yeah, that's like, what is that? What is, why there is so many st stuff that I don't understand about? <laughs> It looks cool, it looks really cool, don't you think? And the gray is going to be mwah, with my Rhino Super 73 RX. This is a code, is a rain code. This is, okay, this one is so cool. Okay, just remember how it's folded. Otherwise, I won't be able to fit it back here. The bottom goes up, so you have to do one and two. All right, all right, and then four. All right, one, two, three, four. So you know why this is so good? It goes far down and this is so good because then you can put this while you have your helmet. Okay, so did I remember how I, so this first, oh man, this is not at all. It's not at all <laughs> this, it's not at all this. It's not gonna fit, Matt. You can tell from, oh, it does fit, okay. Hey, very good, very, very simple to tidy. Oh, a t-shirt and hey. So one, two, hey, come on, what's it? Hey, look, even has the rabbit on the bottom, has the logo, dude, looks cool. And it's just gray, yellow, mm, rhino colors. Finally, nice gloves, I don't have, I'm not gonna wear those Amazon gloves anymore. Hmm. Everything feels so huge. It really feels like it's it's made for motorcycle because it's made for motorcycle. This one I'm very happy because it's just very simple. Simple, you always get cold here when it's in the early mornings and then the last thing is a box into a box and the last thing is shoes so why those shoes are so interesting because they are reinforced they look actually like just sneakers but they are reinforced on each side here they, you have something hard to protect your ankle and every tissue well, especially on this one is waterproof and also can resist if you know there is uh, scratching on the on the street it's actually it's made for motorcycle same so this is very resistant <laughs> let's lay out everything we've received <laughs> and thanks revit see ya I start recording this video because I think I'm gonna learn something from Emma's Chamberlain second video <laughs> on her channel, which is this. Let me, let me. How to do it yourself, Rose Patch Band, which is her second video <laughs> on her channel. This is so funny. And why, why I would want to learn how to do this? Wait a minute. Oh man, why I'm so disorganized. It's just over here. All right, so because of this, I have this patch that I want to put on the on the trailer bag, so it's branded. I was wondering how do I put this? It's by ironing it on the cloth, and I like to watch YouTube videos to learn how to do what I'm gonna do. And as I'm trying to vlog, Emma Chamberlain is like the best at it. So I was checking and. I was checking our first videos to see the progression and the second video, I kid you not, is how to do it yourself, rose patch vans, which is literally explaining to you how to do this. I'm gonna learn how to put this on the, on the bag. Let's just, okay, that's so hilarious. That's why I wanted to share. All right, bye. See you next video. I, I don't know when it's gonna be. Hey guys. I've been measuring the rear part of the bike like thousands of times and this time I need to measure from the hook there to the hook on the other side 
is just to measure if it's possible to have a trailer on the bike because it's so large on the rear that nobody knows. It's never been done before. Hey guys, we did the monthly ride this weekend. It was amazing, I love it. So this week, there is so many things to prepare on the trailer. First, you have to make sure that I can attach it to the bike on road forward. I took my camera because I, I know I need to vlog and uh, it's a perfect time, you know, on the way for work in the Bois de Boulogne. It's, uh, it's great. And the sun is here. Dude, I really need to think what I'm gonna say next time. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go inside Boulogne and go to work. All right, I'll see you at noon or this evening. Hey, yo. New merch arrived today. We have more hats, more t-shirts to give through the trip. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing and I love it. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, and I got a call with GoPro guys, GoPro. GoPro is gonna sponsor this crazy trip this epic adventure. I remember writing, I want to work with huge brand that inspires me and GoPro is one of them. So I didn't expect to, you know, write off working with GoPro from my bucket list this year. Didn't, didn't expect that, but hey, it's happening. So, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vlog on a GoPro 9, you know, with the, the GoPro kit. Now I'm vlogging with my phone. So now I don't have to use my phone for vlogging anymore. Last year, it's the time where we wanted to get the bike. So you know, this April, beginning of May, this, this was the time where we wanted to get the bike last year. And in Europe, we didn't have the bike at the time. And we were like, dude, we're gonna miss spring. Well, it, it turned out to get to miss summer also. But this year, Dude, I'm gonna go 2,000 kilometers in Europe. I'm definitely gonna enjoy spring and the beginning of summer on my bike. Yeah, crazy shot. Hey, what's up guys? What should be the point of view of the GoPro? That's interesting. All right, let's try some stuff. So you have here, like, you know, this is the, the sternum side. Then you have, you know, if I put it here, you have it front, then you have the back. Or crazy stuff like inside the frame. And also I have a GoPro 360 to put somewhere, anywhere. I don't know where. This is going to be fun. Hey guys, I just received one of the most crucial, crucial piece of equipment of this trip. This is coming from Netherlands. And no, it's not Super 73. It comes from Radical Design. This is the trailer. So let's open this box. I feel the vlog is more about opening box than anything. And here. See? Just with the ruler. All right, what do you have in this craziness? Well, you have a manual. Perfect. You have a wheel. Perfect. You have a second wheel. Perfect. And you have the bag. And that's it. I guess everything is inside. Let's open it. The raincoat of the bag. Very important. I have this. And then we have this. This goes here. Very simple. The wheels. How do you prepare the wheels? Das, uh, 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 uh. There's English, please, please tell me there is. Oh, there is French. Oh, cool. So you have this on the other side. Oh, okay. So you do. Doesn't matter. No, this. Okay. Then you put this, and hopefully. It's okay, that's enough. Good, very simple. 
Where is the second one? Here. Come here. Then you put this here, where there is the hole. You put this here. Simple. You press. You can go inside. Here is flat. So here. You put this. Still turns. All right. Easy peasy. I just put this here. And when I'm done, you know, press the red button and chuck, put it in the alignment. Now, the most complex part is this piece of equipment. I have to attach it on the bike. design it's good you're here because you guys this life is all about you it's all about you so I just received the the trailer and it's good news it's really really good news so you know that when we we were thinking okay this is going to be too small but actually on the Super 73 there is two screws there is the big one which is the axe on the rear wheel and you have two other screws just to hold the part of the rear wheel and I just can attach it on this so I don't have to do any modification so this will keep it its strength so which is amazing the only thing that I have to do is change this screw to a, a longer one and it's gonna be okay I'm so happy thank you radical design go check out their website this is the trailer I'm using for this incredible um, crazy trip and this tips come from Resonance Concept Store, which is a store in Paris who, uh, who had to install a trailer on a bike and they told me, hey, uh, why don't you try to put the, the attachment on the, the other screw and it works, it's amazing. Et ben... Ça marche pas. <laughs>